Right, hello folks, welcome back to another episode of the Eastbourne Fisherman. Uh, today I've come down to Langley Point. We're down by the marina on the Long Beach. Uh, and I'm going to do some fishing. Um, we're going to go for soles and whatever else is about, really. It's uh, low tide at the moment, the tide's just about to turn. So we're fishing mostly the flood tonight. And I'm joined by a very special person that you haven't seen in a couple of videos. Um, and I haven't fished with him for quite a while, to be fair. He's over here. Hello. There he is, the absent My soul. Man. This How are we doing? Pointing. It's pointing towards you, mate. Right. <laughs> That's it. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello, we're out. We're out. We're First out. cast. Cliff's in already. I've still yet to set up. I found the spot where there's no fish. Right, okay. I'll so go for next time. That's positive. Yeah, so we're at the Long Beach today. As, as you can see, there we go. Right there. Towers behind us. It's a great venue. Um, nice big patch of boulders down there. It's good to come down at low tide to figure out, you know, what's in front of us. Um, and yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, how positive are you about this evening, Cliff? Very, very positive. About as positive as the rain cloud that it's is definitely going to be an evening. seemingly coming above us at the moment. Uh, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a, a weird evening, but you know, it is what it is, and we'll see what happens. So, up watch tonight, then we've got the Akios SX8 reel, which is on there. I'm using the Air Power rod, single uh, rod rest tonight, and that is pretty much the setup I'm going to be using. Um, as for rigs wise. Um, I'm just going to start off by using a two hook flapping rig. Um, nice fresh black lug on there from the Angler's Den. And then just a rolling lead to start off with at the bottom of the tide. If it starts to pull, obviously we'll change to a grip lead. Base wise for tonight, then we've got the fresh black lug that I picked up from the Angler's Den tackle shop in Pevensey Bay. Cheers, guys. Uh, that is pretty much there. I've got four wraps of that. Uh, we've got some sand deals there, which we're going to be using a little bit later on, uh, using for tipping and messing around with. And I've got some squid that has been refrozen a good couple of times now, so we need to get rid of that and use that up tonight. So we might tip with that uh, as well. Well, I'm just going to have a quick look around this rocky patch, see if we can find any leads from people that have been mackerel fishing or anything like that, anything tied up around the rocks. Nothing I can see as of yet. It's always good, we come down at low tide, have a look around the rocks. Uh, the amount of tackle and bits and pieces that I found, just having a quick spoke, is uh, it's quite good. No crabs about at the moment, no. Nice crab leg there. Yeah, have a look. If you come down at low tide, if you're fishing at low tide and there's some exposed rocks, just have a quick look around, see if you can find any leads or anything like that that might be hidden in the little cubby holes where people might have snagged their lines but on this occasion we have been unsuccessful right and I'm also going to be trying out these new tip lights that I have received from Rig Shark all the information's there if you want to scan it you can find out all the information or head to rigshark.co.uk and check them out they are pretty good actually. Um, comes in a capsule like this. All you have to do is screw off the top, push the battery in, and then screw it back in. Oh, it's nice and bright, really bright, man. Very, really bright. And the thing I like about these actually is that they just clip onto the rod, the tip of the rod. There's no messing around with duct taping or anything like that. You just open the catch like that and clip it straight onto the tip of the rod. So I'm just going to do that now and uh, we'll fish with it on um, and then I will give my overall opinion of it once we've fished the whole session with it on. Right, so I'm just going to clip the Rig Shark light onto my rod by just pushing it over. Obviously I've got some tape on here from my last light so I'm hoping that it's going to go on. Closing the catch like that. Now that sits quite nice on the top of the rod. The catch is pretty much clipped up, it's nice and stable, you can shake it around, it's not going to fall off. Um, so let's fish with it and then uh, we'll see the overall results at the end of the video and how we get on with it. Right, so we're out fishing, Cliff's rod's over there, he's using the red glow stick. Uh, I'm over here, I've got the green glow stick on, which is up there, shining nice and bright. It must be in the right place because there's a boat just over the other side of where we are. Um, so he's obviously found some fish and he's giving it a go as well so you know I would like a couple of fish tonight we'd like a couple of fish we're out giving it a go 
does look like it's going to bucket it down. It's pretty, yeah, the sky looks pretty angry, man. It's nice over there. You come over this side. Ooh, pretty angry. All right, let's get cracking and do some fishing. Hopefully, the next bit, you'll see me holding a nice big fish. Right, guys, like I was saying, have a look around at the rocks and things like that. A couple of lures I found here. That one is well past its sell by date. That <laughs> looks like a Dexter's wedge of some sort. Uh, this one actually doesn't look too bad. It's like a little perk of some sort. It's obviously lost the hook on the end. But we'll uh, give that a new life and give that a go. And then this one here, another battered up uh, lure there as well. So definitely have a look around the rocks. And you can find some hidden treasure too. And also clean the beach with the debris in the process. Couple of twitches on the rod tip then. Uh, one nice big bite followed by a couple of little twitches. Uh, so I'm going to leave it a couple of seconds and then we'll reel it in and hopefully we'll see if we've got the first fish of the night. There we go then guys, so that's what we come for. One Dover Sol, not the biggest one, but it's a start and I'm pretty happy that we've hit the target today. Absolutely awesome. I'm going to measure him up and see if he's big enough to whack in my pan for some tea. But he's probably going to go back and hopefully we'll catch a big one. Yep, target's achieved. Let's carry on the fishing. Boom. Well, I'm just going to get a quick measurement, just to see how big he is. I believe they have to be around about 20, I think it's 24, to be landing size. I will double check later. Oh, he's a... That was a 28, I think. Oh, I've got the hook stuck in my shoe nest. Right. Obviously, we don't, we don't want to kill a fish if he's not, not the right size or anything like that. Just touch, I reckon just touch on, we're calling 28, you probably, you probably get 29 out of him, to be fair. Um, if you were fishing a match, you would measure him at 29, but I think just for the sake of the video, because we're not oh yeah, it's definitely 29, but 29. It's worth having a look in the uh, the rock pools when you come fishing. Look at all them shrimp. If only I had a net. I've hand caught a couple of them. Absolutely fantastic baits for bass. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you're going to pick this up on the camera, but yeah, it's worth having a look in the rock pools and the more rockier marks. Grab the shrimp. If you've got an area area or in a bucket, back them in there, and uh, away you go. Couple of shrimp now. Absolutely fantastic bait. Apparently, fl float fishing prawns uh, or shrimp, should I say, is awesome. Weird looking things, aren't they? Right, guys, so I think we're in the right place this evening because we just had fish number two, which is again oop, another sole, which is there, absolutely awesome. Two soles in the bag, happy days. This one coming in at around about 27. Yeah, you could probably touch that to 27 to be fair. If, if the ruler was flat, you'd get that at 27. Yeah, another nice fish there. This one's a little bit too thin, so this one will be going back. Fourth cast, third fish of the night. Another sole. Absolutely awesome. Definitely hit the target today. Just looking for the big one now. These ones are really thin. I mean, so it's quite early in the season for sole, but these ones are proper thin. There's been a couple of nice big ones being caught recently um, in the local area, but the ones we caught tonight, apart from the first one, like I said, are very, very thin. There's not much meat on them. I mean, you wouldn't really want to keep a fish that was this this thin. I'm just going to measure him out and I'll show you what it looks like on the measure. Alright, so here's our measuring stick. We're just going to get the fish. I'm going to unhook the fish before we measure him. Place the head on the top of the uh, the red bit there. And then we measure him out like that. So he's, he's within size. I mean, like I said, 24 is the is the size. And he's uh, around 25 centimetres. I'll try and lift it up for you so you can see a bit closer. There you go, so it's around 25. So this one will be going back, like I said. They're very, very thin, very thin, not much meat on that. But the bigger ones are absolutely awesome and they taste fantastic. So let's get them back in. Right, folks, so another one in the bag for me. This one's a little bit bigger, 27. A little bit fatter. Absolutely awesome. Sole number four. 
it's been a pretty good session so far. Right, so first target achieved was the sole. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over and uh, for the last part of the session I'm going to target congrails and bass. And to do this I'm going to just use mackerel heads or larger pieces of mackerel. Uh, I've got a 6-0 in the bottom there and a 6-0 through the mouth of the top there. Um, and I'm going to cast that out and see if we can catch either of the two that I've just mentioned. That is the plan. Right folks, so the last hour has been like we're on the graveyard shift to be honest with you. It has been proper quiet. Nothing on the big baits, nothing on the small baits either. It's just very quiet. The sea has flattened off and um, just seems to be a barren wasteland of nothing. Even Cliff has uh, decided to take a nap down there, let's see. There he is. <laughs> Rods are still out. The light tips, the tip lights are still going. They're pretty good, those tip lights, aren't they? I like them. I like them. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah. I'll tell you, it's very dark down here. Let's get some light. There we go. One rod out there. Another out here. A couple of soles in the bag. Apart from that, it is pretty dead. Pretty dead. There's quite a strong tide pull uh, towards. Obviously you can't see it in the dark, but towards this side of the uh, the harbour arm, quite strong. We're going to fish it out and see what happens. Uh, hopefully, um, towards the nearing the top of the tide in about an hour, or an hour and a half, we might see some more fish activity. Right, so the fishing's been pants, uh, but I've just found this big tackle snag, which has got quite a lot of tackle in. So I'm going to cut off the bits that I can find that might be useful, and I'll show you what we got in a minute. But yeah. Nice little find. Right, so the results from the tackle snag. We've got three, what looks like to be red leads. One, two, three. One mackerel lead there. And a little lead there that looks like maybe it's off of a Texas rig or something to hold down a sole rig or something like that. Yeah, it's not a bad little find. And then we're going to dispose of all the rest of this other line and bits and pieces. So tonight's final result in haul two <laughs> lures and a selection of leads. Oh, Cliff's into something. Something's there. Something's there. Something's wriggling. Something's wriggling, come on mate, let's get it in. Oh, was your line? I don't think so, mine's further out mate. No, it's following you in, it's following you in. Oh, is it a bass? Is it a bass? It's a bass. Oh, is it codlin? Is it codlin mate? <laughs> Oh yes! Oh, oh yes, get in! <laughs> so look! Oh yeah! Oh. oh look at that man! Didn't we say? Oh, stay for a little bit longer. Hold it up mate, let's get it on the camera. What an absolutely awesome fish man. Happy days. Worth the wait. Awesome. So the last baits are going in the water now. I've gone for a just a took flapper rig with a bit of lug worm on using the last of the worm. Cliff's just baiting up now, he's casting his out now. Uh, we've been fishing for around about five and a half hours, maybe six hours. Um, handful of sole, and then Cliff has managed to pull out the bag a unicorn, which is pretty cool, or a codling as we call it. Um, hopefully the cod are making the comeback in Eastbourne, it'd be great to see a few more caught. I know quite a few of them have been caught locally, but it'll be really nice to have a decent cod run and get some decent, uh, you know, bigger sized fish showing. Um, so yeah, so we'll let you know if anything else does happen, um, and that'll be it for now. Right, so just going back to the uh, tip lights that we've been using tonight, uh, the Rig Shark tip lights. Check them out, rigshark.co.uk, or you can scan that on the video of your mobile phone, and it'll take you to the, uh, the website there. Yeah, so uh, the lights we've been using tonight, um, I found them pretty good actually, to be fair. Um, much better than the previous ones that we were using. Um, it's a constant bright light, um, and the, the, the clipping function is pretty good, just to unclip the clip and clip it straight on. I like the batteries, um, the colours stay pretty bright, and I'm pretty happy with them, to be fair. Right on, Cliff, so the Rig Shark lights, what do you reckon about them then? I'm really impressed with these, actually. They're yeah. nice and streamlined. They clip on and off your rod tip really easily. I've taken mine off and put it back on again this evening and it's not moved, it's not slid up and down, stayed in place, locked on tight, really impressed, bright lights all the time, yeah. really good. Right, so there are the two lights still glowing bright after our session, which are there. Absolutely fantastic, really, really impressed with these, like I said before, 
Um, if you want to purchase your own, uh, there's a link in the description of the video which will offer you a discount code. Go and check them out. They're pretty cool. Just going to turn the lights off so you can still see what they're like. Turn my hair torch off. There you go. So you can see them still glowing bright. I mean, we've been out here for about, it must be about five and a half, six hours now. Uh, and they're still glowing the same as when we took them out of the packet, to be fair. Definitely check them out. I think I'll definitely be getting some more of these. Uh, much better than the ones I'm currently using. It never ceases to amaze me what you can pull out of the ocean. <laughs> Whoever's lost a little bucket hat, uh, <laughs> we'll leave it on the rocks for you. What a strange evening it's been. Absolutely crazy. Bit damp, but may do someone a turn. Right guys, so that is it. That is the end of this week's episode. It's been a pretty good one to be fair. I had a couple of souls that we were targeting. Cliff ended up with a unicorn and then we had a big quiet patch and uh, you know, it, the, the fishing just went dead. Uh, a couple of bites at the end, which come to nothing, but you know, hey ho, that's how it goes. Final thoughts, Cliff? Awesome session, yeah. yeah. Very quiet in the middle, but book ended by fish at the beginning, fish at the end. Yeah, so it wasn't too bad, was it? Very good. So I managed to find a load of discarded leads. We had a look around rock pools uh, to see, you know, baits that we could use. And we also tested out the tip lights. Uh, like I said, check out the link in the description below if you want a discount on them. I think they're absolutely great. I'll do a tackle talk on them um, just to get, you know, show you a bit more in-depth details on how they work in the next coming videos. So thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider it. Uh, don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section below. And I hope you have a fantastic time fishing yourselves.